Happy Tuesday. Happy birthday to my mom today. Um, we are looking at today the transfiguration, how it prefigures the glory that Jesus will have on the cross. We're told in Matthew 17. After six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John, his brother, and led them up to a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, conversing with him. So the transfiguration is often connected to the crucifixion and resurrection. It's a, it's a, it's a preamble to it. And so here, uh, Jesus is taking Peter, James, and John, and he's transfigured so they can see the truth of who Jesus is. And this is to help them with the shock that's to come when he's crucified. But they get to see an insight that Jesus really is divine as he, his face you know, shines like the sun. They are able to see his divinity shines through. And it is his divinity and being able to see this that they're able to see in hindsight later again that Jesus goes to the cross, he suffers, he dies, but he's still divine. He is the Son of God. And because Jesus died on the cross, we too can rise. So let's pray for the grace to trust and believe in the resurrection. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you, show, you allowed your Son to show his truth of his divinity. And we believe Jesus, you are divine. You are the Son of God. And because you died and rose from the dead, we too shall rise. That death does not have the final word. That the final word is the resurrection. And God, Father, we, we anticipate that as we wait for Easter Sunday. We anticipate our own resurrection and the resurrection of our loved ones. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen.